Good afternoon. Today we are going to question that we may get neural style transfer going without so-called deep neural networks. For the whole story, please bear with me. So neural style transfer was like the stuff you are going to show when someone just wants you to amaze them with DL quickly without any technical details. Then it would be interesting if it turns out that neural style transfer does not need deep learning at all. Well, not completely. Otherwise, I would have used a title like this deep learning killer app does not need deep learning. But it is still beneficial to see how far we can go with deep learning dropped. Quite far, actually. If we look at an actual program doing style transfer, it just optimizes a certain kind of distance between two images having gone through the same transformation. To be precise, it is the linear combination of two such distances, but the ideas are the same. And that same transformation the two images in one kind of loss does not really have to be neural. It is named neural style transfer after all. So it is hard to say whether previous people have tried hard enough with something simpler. Another perspective is that there are arguments for a neural network with some kind of ways generated by a program because the genes in real animals cannot carry that much information like a huge number of floating point numbers stored in a deep learning model. Appellation here is like peeling an onion. We tune the hyperparameters very hard for the best result. After we remove something, then we remove some model and tune again. Then what are good results? It is kind of, I know it when I see it, because you can't really score neural style transfer results. But in retrospect, this was exactly how things like neural style transfer got popular in the first place. Many people just saw it and knew it. We remove learning first, then deepness and no need for counter loss in practice, so we just went with the style loss. To remove learning, we found one single fixed bias 0.5 working very well. And then we want some generated weights, but what distribute? We tried continuous distribution first, then it seemed that only the weights with large magnitudes are working because uniform turned out to be superior than Gaussian, so we went on to try discrete weights. As you can see, symmetric binary weights with magnitude 0.1 without seeing a more blocky texture closer to the baseline than the best uniform distribution we could find. Then we remove the nonlinearities like ReLU and pooling. Because the weights and biases are no longer trained, we can increase the number of filters as many as we want, and as you can see on the top right, giving an even better result. Finally, we just replace the whole network with Gaussian pyramid, and it still worked, but worked significantly worse. Finally, the takeaway is that we can get away with untrained networks with generated binary weights, but with some deepness.